Hey guys, Zodi Rocker MSK here, back with another video, and this is a WWE figure pickup. I have five figures here, one elite, four specialty figures. Um, these are a crossover, if it gives you any kind of hint. I do have the complete first line, but I found the second one, and I was really excited. But first, let's go into the elite. This is from a newer elite line. Uh, it would help if it took, oh, elite 49. I was really looking for the end zone on this line, couldn't find it, but the one I really, really wanted, I found a little damage, it's okay. Becky Lynch, the last kicker. This figure's awesome. Um, I have seen the Randy Orton multiple times, I might get it at Randy Orton, it looks really, really good, and I don't have an Orton figure, so I might get that one. But I really wanted Enzo's, so, yeah, I'm gonna get a close-up on her. That outfit they gave her just looks incredible, all the detail they put in this figure. The sides. And in the back, uh, as you can tell, it's really indented right here. But information on when she wore the outfit, everything about her. And then, of course, the top's even a little damaged, but it's okay. She has the hat and everything. But overall, this is just an amazing attire. Um, I don't really remember her just wearing this on a Raw. I really thought this was uh, her WrestleMania or Royal Rumble attire or something more special like that. But, hey, it's a really cool outfit and second Becky Lynch figure, so yeah. So the next four figures are all the specialty line. Um, this one I went, I got these a couple months ago, but I just uh, was waiting for another figure to show them off. So these are the second Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle WWE crossover line. I have all four. I have all four of the first one. I grew up loving Ninja Turtles, so as soon as I saw these, I had to pick them up. Really hoping to make a third line, because these are just awesome, the detail. So the first one we have is Michelangelo as the Hot Rod Roddy Roddy Piper. And we have the, uh, what the hell is it called? So yeah, we have a lot of stuff for them. Uh, we have his kilt, we have the WWE mic, and uh, we have the uh, bagpipes. That's what I was trying to think of. Bagpipes, it's really cool. They made it in like a turtle show, which is awesome. So that's the first one. Second one is, um, this one I agreed with what they put it on. It did really fit in well. This is Raphael as The Rock. The only thing I'm kind of disappointed on is I wish they would have gave the rock belt instead of the WWE belt to that, uh, to him, but hey. And the dumbbells, I mean, it kind of makes sense, but. And then we have the microphone, of course. The eyebrow that they did was really nice touch, and the outfit fits him. So yeah, we have the rock. It doesn't look like, he doesn't have the rock's tattoo, though, which I really wish they would have put on him, because that would have just made it so much detailer. Next one is, this is my favorite one. Um, I kind of would have wished that Raph and Leo switched because the uh, red mask would have made it a lot better. But this is Leonardo as Finn Balor, the demon. This is awesome. This comes with the steel steps, the guardrail, and the NXT belt. Um, yeah, steel steps are underneath, so you can't really see, but on the back, it shows you what it comes with. This figure, holy crap, this thing detail. All the face paint, they gave him the headdress. They even gave him the things on his armband. This is my favorite out of all of them, so very, very happy with Leo's. And for the last one, gotta pick up all of them, Donatello with the Ultimate Warrior. I have to say, I do kind of like last year's Donatello better as The Undertaker. This one's still really cool. Um, I, I could have probably saw Don and Mikey switching from the Hot Rod to the Ultimate Warrior, but that's just made me a little picky with the attitude of all the turtles and everything. Jump close. We have everything with them. We have the ring bell. And of course the thing that rings that we have a video camera. And we also have a broken table, which is awesome. So yeah, they put a lot of detail into these figures. These figures I feel like are better than Elite. You come with so much more stuff than a basic $20 Elite will, and it's only 20 bucks. So yeah, overall I'm very happy with the second line of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hopefully they'll come out with the third line. I'm gonna get all of those. So make sure to like this video and subscribe, because as always, more to come.